welcome. I am Christine Louise, and this is Classic Car Culture. We are here at the historic Moon Knife, in which Dean Moon founded. He was known as the consummate hot rodder and innovator of speed and specialty parts. In the late 80s, he passed away, and Shig Suganuma took over the company. He was a retailer in Japan and a close family friend. And the president is Chico Kodama. Let's go see Chico and the man. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man. Come on in. Well, and taste. I've been around for a long, long year. Stole many We are in the offices so of the president, Chico, and here he is. Let me ask you a couple of questions. How did you become uh, president of this company? Chico, who is owner of the company. We met each other through a uh, mutual friend. Were you racing against each other? No, absolutely not. Um, you know, we were going to school back then. This is about 40 years ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. When uh, uh, Dean passed away back in 87, Chico wanted to uh, uh, keep on the company going. Right. But he was having difficulty uh, uh, with the language. He needed somebody here. He picked me up. It was a good match. You know, he's a businessman. And uh, on the other hand, I'm uh, pretty good with uh, 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 what I do with Spanish. I am here with Shiggy, the current owner of Moon Eyes. What made you have the decision to say, you know what, I want to take over this company? It's a passion of uh, power the you know? Right. The blue sky, palm tree, power. It has to be stay in Southern California. Right. And the moon, too. Absolutely. Right. When the, most, uh, when the company up the for sale, a lot of American companies, other country company, wants to buy a, a new logo. That's it. But uh, not only logo, I want everything. So, right. Shop and buildings and everything. Only me, raise a hand to buy everything. So that's why. How did you and Chico come together? Were you long time oh, friends? Yeah. First time I came here, uh, back in I mean, 1977, he had a, a logo. He had a Nova? Yeah, for the uh, racing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, I bought this company and asked him to do it. Run this side. I'm doing it in Japan. He's doing it. He's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, without him, I can I, I could make this. It's nice to know. He's got your back. Yeah, and all guys working for me now, they're all good. Yeah, you have a good team. Yeah, good team. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I try to keep it small. Family, like yeah, family. Yeah, family. You know, right. Like family. That everyone cares and has the same right. passion. So like show, my show is like a family. Mm -hmm. You show here in the family. It's right. The people get together, know yeah. each other. Make fun, right? That's what I love about yeah. cars and bikes. It mm -hmm. brings people together right. and it's like a family. Mm -hmm. And you get to see all the people that you haven't seen in a really long time. Right. And you still race, right? You race. Can you tell uh, us about that? Yeah, You're just at Bonneville? Uh, yeah, I do run the Bonneville uh, twice a year. Uh, August uh, Speed Week, and then we're going to go back in October here in about three weeks' time. Try to uh, uh, get the uh, record back. I built that uh, roadster back in 86. I started uh, building it. And uh, 88, uh, beginner's luck, I guess. Uh, first time out, uh, I set a record. It's amazing. Congratulations. And will you but, be driving? Oh yes, in fact, I built the car around myself, so, you know, I have a real short legs. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, but nobody else can put it in it. Oh, that's, oh, you were thinking subconsciously, I got your number, yes, you were, you were like, no one is going to drive this but me. I think we'll be looking pretty good. That's exciting, if you need a cheerleader, I will volunteer. <laughs> I'll be your moon eyes girl, cheerleader. Yes, get it, get it, go Chico. So, how do you feel about showing us around? This is not the fun stuff, right? Uh, the fun stuff is over there. Right, this is something that uh, I see makes me do <laughs> Right, who wants to do paperwork? Oh, how fun, I'm really happy he's inside the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in between here. Yeah, 200, yes, that's actually what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place where a first Cobra was built. By Shelby. Shel Shelby contracted Dean Moon okay. to build a car for him. This is the exact place that was built. Uh, the very first Cobra was built here. There's right. some history here. And this is your retail space, right? And people can come in here and buy stuff and order um, through the catalog. You have videos, 
magazines. Uh, you want to tell we us? We do have a website, so we do get an order from uh, worldwide. Muna so has become one of the uh, icon of the auto uh, industry. industry. Every place in, in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, we have a dealer. Uh, I think we have about 250 or so uh, dealerships uh, wow. throughout the country and uh, abroad. And you guys support a lot of other people. Uh, you know, you, you yes. shows and you sponsor, you do a lot of stuff. To Sige, uh, this is an entertainment, not so much in business. So he, he does entertain people more than selling. Right. And that uh, turns into a sales absolutely. So. Absolutely. If you love what you do, the money comes later. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I believe. Yeah, he's, he's good at that. So this is where all the little goodies are. It's a small uh, um, showroom and we can't put out uh, everything, everything. Have, right? But uh, this is majority of the products. Which you guys are known for, right? You're known uh, for the, yeah, the disc. Uh, this is one of the first items that the Dean uh, made. Japanese owned but still made in the U.S. They're, that's important to know that they're keeping the authenticity uh, and his legacy alive. How was it for you to get this started? Was it a struggle? Was it easy? Were you accepted? Uh, you know, I'm Japanese. Yes. Yeah, so how about this? It's a typical American. It's uh, right? absolutely yeah, American. So that, kind of, that kind of stuff uh, you can imagine. You know, it was difficult. Different for right. me. Right. And maybe some people don't want us to run historical American business. You know? Right. So that kind of stuff is happening in the beginning. In the beginning, but you overcame it, right? I mean, you're able, I mean, you, you kind of turn the business around. Mm -hmm. We had a pretty good uh, connection with the uh, media right. and also in the industries. I've known a few people and uh, every, we had everybody's support. Pretty soon they found out what we were trying to do. Not so much, you know, just get in the business and make money. Right. That wasn't it. Sega is the kind of guy that uh, brings the people together. You know? Right, and gets involved. And I bet you do too. I think you both do. I think you guys have an amazing thing going on here and you're continuing the spirit yeah. of Dean Moon. Well, that, that was the only reason why she took uh, this place over is because he wanted to continue the uh, uh, Dean Moon's uh, you know, legacy. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to hanging out with you. The next you're going to see us boarding a plane on our way to Japan. Hey, how about that? Tell them where we're going. We're going to Yokohama. And it's oh, going to Yes, and it's going to be exciting and fun and we look forward to you coming on that journey with us. So stay tuned. When we roam is down wild streets that we wander under some sunset to the gray blue yonder they say the kids are gone and with a sweet soldier honor your dreams become schemes and they're mixed up in karma. I know things you've lost trying to hold